Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the Dalton High School Class of 2021. We are here today to celebrate the accomplishments of this amazing group of young men and women. Graduation is an important event for these students and their families. Please remember that this is a formal event. Out of respect for all others, please refrain from excessive celebration throughout this event. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to welcome the Dalton High School Class of 2021.
members of the audience, please stand for the presentation of our colors, the singing of our national anthem, and the Pledge of Allegiance. join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, class of 2021. It is truly a great day to be a catamount. Before I make a few remarks, I would like to take this opportunity to recognize a special group of people who are in attendance today. If you are a Dalton Public Schools teacher and you taught some of the students in this graduating class, please stand up and be recognized.
Students, you would not be here tonight without the support. I'm sorry, this morning. I'm sorry, that was, I uh, didn't change that from the, uh, the, plan, the uh, initial plan of an evening graduation. Sorry. Um, you would not be here today without the support of your parents, grandparents, and other loved ones. Each of these people are a special part of your story, and they have been dedicated to helping you achieve success. So students, graduates, please stand and give a round of applause to your families who are here today, who have cared for you, supported you, and love you very much. Let's stand up and thank our families. Okay, y'all can be seated. It's so exciting to be here today to celebrate the accomplishments of this senior class. For many of you, I am sure that you thought this moment would never come. This has been a difficult last two years of high school for all of you. Last year ended suddenly. At first, we thought we'd go home for a few weeks to let this new virus run its course. Little did we know that our school year would end the way it did and we would face all the challenges, challenges and dangers of the COVID-19 virus. It was as if the world stopped spinning for a while. We were happy when we learned that we would be able to come back to school for the 2021 school year, your senior year. To say the least, this has been quite an experience. Mass social distancing, sanitizing our hands so much they were dry and cracked, Quarantines, being afraid of getting sick, canceling games due to exposure, doing our schoolwork virtually, not being able to have our regular events such as the homecoming uh, parade, sweetheart dance, homecoming dance. These were just a few of the things that we faced this year. Slowly, things have gotten better and we have been able to close out this year having the events that celebrate our senior class. Throughout it all, you guys have been positive, resilient, patient, you've worked hard, and I think all of us have learned to be thankful for the simple things like hanging out with friends, going to movies, having school dances, things that before COVID we took for granted. I am so proud of the way you handled yourselves through all this. You were leaders in our school, you rolled with the punches, and you represented our school so well. And now, here we are, your last day as high school students. Wow, you made it. At this time of year, all of us become a bit nostalgic and think back to our own graduation ceremonies and things we wish we knew when we graduated but learned through experiences that life has thrown our way. I want to share a few of these lessons that I have learned that may make, make an impact on you as you move forward into the next phase of your lives. Set goals for yourself. Never underestimate what you can do if you set your mind to it. And remember that it's okay to change your mind about what you want to do. You have to work for a really long time, so you need to love what you do. Work hard. With hard work, you can accomplish anything. Set this standard for those around you. Most often, things that come easily are not nearly as rewarding as the things you work hard to achieve. Be kind to others. Treat others as you would want to be treated. Be fair and considerate, even when you're handling a difficult situation. Even difficult conversations are better when you, when you are kind and try to think about the feelings of others. Persevere through challenging times. Everything you do prepares you for your next step in life. You learn valuable lessons from the people you meet and the mistakes you make along the way. Always try to keep a positive attitude. Don't be afraid to try new things. Step out of your comfort zone sometimes. It makes life far more exciting. Give back to your community. Find a way to pay it forward. You are very fortunate to be a part of a community like Dalton who have people who care deeply about our school system 
and our youth. You guys are our future. Do your part to make sure that Dalton continues to be a great place to live, raise a family, and get an education. Try to make a difference in the world. Take a break from technology often. Have a conversation with a, a friend or family member. Read a book. Find ways to stimulate, stimulate your mind. Remember that conversations and communicating well with others can take you a long way in life. Take care of yourself. Exercise, spend time doing things you enjoy. Don't let work take over your lives. Find the right balance of work and time to have fun and do the things that you enjoy. Laugh. Laughter is the best medicine. Even during stressful times, find the humor in things. Don't take things so seriously. Laughter always makes you feel better, no matter what. And finally, believe in yourselves. You can accomplish anything. Believe in your talents. You are all stronger than you think you are. Self-belief is, is often the key to reaching your maximum potential. The world is waiting for you, and we cannot wait to see the great things that you will do in your future. In conclusion, I would like to share a quote with you by Ralph Waldo Emerson. He wrote, what lies behind us and what lies before us are all small matters compared to what lies within us. You and only you are in control of your future. Go out, take on the world, make your mark, and know that we believe in each and every one of you. Class of 2021, you are remarkable. You are about to embark on the next chapter of your lives and you are ready, because after all, you are catamounts. Congratulations, Dalton High School Class of 2021, and go Big Red. Sheesh. So, I'd like to congratulate everyone here for finally completing their years at Dalton High School and preparing ourselves for the next part of our lives. But I think it's important to focus on the end part of that sentence. And I think in graduation, we all would like to think of like the past, right? The four years we spent in high school. And just the first, you know, like just think about the first time we entered the building, the first time we sat in a classroom, the first time we took our exams, and the first new friends we made. And even though we like to reminisce about all the stuff we've had and all the like, fun times we've had, I think it's also equally important to see what the future holds. For many, this graduation ceremony may be seen as an end, but in reality, it's just the beginning. In fact, we can use an example of a mountain. Now, you guys are gonna have to bear with me on this one, but we can see this mountain as our life. Our goal is the summit, which is the very top of the mountain. This is where we want to go. Where would we put the high school here? I think we would put the high school just before base camp. Base camp is where you prepare for the climb, where you learn to use the right tools and understand the dangers ahead. And I hope in these four years, we've actually been preparing ourselves for the future and ready to start a climb and ready to start going after our ambitions. But what exactly is that? Many of us would think that our goal would be success, but what can be classified as success? Oftentimes we think that having a lot of money or monetary value is e equivalent to success. And from a materialistic standpoint, this could hold true. We tend to think if we amass a large amount of wealth that we are deemed successful not only by ourselves, but by those around us. But this isn't a mountain of capitalism. It is your mountain. Wealth is only one measure of someone's abilities. And the same thing goes with intelligence and artistic abilities. We should all look and see what it is that we want in our lives. And is the thing that we want in our lives truly gonna benefit us and society? After choosing what you wanna do in life, it's time to climb the mountain. Life, as we've heard from those older than us, and as cliche as it may sound, is actually hard, but we shouldn't let these difficulties stop us. A famous American singer, Marshall Mathers, once said, if people take anything from my music, it should be motivation to know that anything is possible, as long as you keep working at it and don't back down. As we've all taken four years of English, 
let's finally put literary analysis to its use. We discussed how life is hard, and here Mathers explains his philosophy by using his own experience. We all know how popular he is, but in order for him to reach his goal, his summit, and achieve his ambitions of becoming an amazing artist, he had to work extremely hard. And just like that, we also need to work hard for our goals. Success is not gonna give, be given to us on a silver platter. And this motivational idea is important if we return to our mountain analogy. We are constantly moving up the summit to our goals and to our ambitions. But what exactly are these ambitions we have? What's the point of working hard if we do not even know where to go? As humans, we tend to look at things that make us happy, give us joy or bliss. But oftentimes, especially in this day and age, we get a false sense of happiness. For many of us who have imagined our own mountain when I started the discussion about it, our goal may have had something to do with our happiness. For example, we may have think that if we were rich, that would make us happy, or if we were famous, that would also make us happy. But I think this is why it's really important for us to actually think about this. Are these things really gonna make us happy? Are they really gonna benefit us? A quote that I really like that has impacted me and is from uh, a spiritual leader and a humanitarian who has helped millions around the world. And he's been a huge mentor for me. His name is Pramukh Swami Maharaj. And I'll say it in Gujarati, but he said, Bijama Balama Apnu Balu. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys may not know what Gujarati is. This may be the first time you've heard of it, but it roughly translates to, in the joy of others lies our own. I think this is a really impactful quote as it not only dismantles the notion that we have to seek happiness through money, fame, or other forms of materialism, but it also shows how we can find happiness in the simple service of those around us. Now with these thoughts in mind, I would like to reiterate the main points we went over. We talked about a mountain in which we've only gotten to the base of it. We have completed the basic training, but the real challenge is about to start. If we want to climb to the summit or reach our goals, at least know where it was, or at least know where it is. As we look back into the times we've had, whether they be good or bad, let's at least try to remember everything and improve ourselves to become a better person and start the climb. Let's go. In all honesty, I want to puke and cry. This is the end and the beginning. While everything collides, I sit here with questions. What do I want to do with life? What gives me butterflies? What makes my heart race a little faster? What makes me want to run or hide? Who am I? What makes me tick? I am terrified of who I am as a human being. My life is at a collision point and it shakes me to my core. I don't have it all together. I am a mess. I've made a lot of mistakes in life, and in this collision, I must choose to allow them to consume me or to surpass them. What am I doing? Where am I going? What comes next? For 13 years, kindergarten through senior year, my purpose, my drive has been my future. But what am I to do now that my future is upon me? What are we to do now that our future is upon us? There are faces I've seen over the last four years that I may never see again. Names I never got to know, people I never truly met, personalities and characters I never got to discover. Here we are at the turning point of our lives, and I want you to know it's okay to be afraid. But in the midst of that fear, there is hope. Hope to me is a flicker of candlelight, a single ray of sun shining through. Hope is a knife that slices through the darkness. I grab onto hope. I grab onto the hope that I will experience and live through things in life that are greater than anything I have planned. I run on faith. I run on the certainty of what is to come and the conviction of what I can't see. I know that life is hard and our future isn't something we're entirely prepared for. And reality is going to hit all of us soon. Maybe today for some, maybe tomorrow, maybe at the end of summer. But know this, if we can make it through four presidents, a solar eclipse, the explosion of the internet, the death of Vine, the rising of TikTok, learning to drive, translating for our parents, being the sons and daughters of immigrants, 13 years of school, and fighting for our education in the middle of a pandemic, we can make it through the obstacles life will throw at us. We can do it. I know some of us are the first in our family, the first to finish high school, the first to go to college, the first to want more out of life. I see you and applaud you 
And if no one else has told you, I'm proud of you. To everyone I say this, don't let high school be the best years of your life. Don't let this be your greatest peak. Make something greater of yourselves. Climb a greater mountain. Because if we've made it this far, we can go so much further than we can possibly imagine. Congratulations, class of 21. We made it. Good morning, everyone. I wanted to begin by thanking everyone in attendance today. Friends, family, faculty, thank you for all that you have done, and it is a tremendous honor to be up here right now. If you don't know me, I'm Liam, I'm one of your classmates and a member of the class of 2021. Let's think for a moment. We're seriously here. Did y'all think we could do it? I did not. Mm -mm. It feels like just yesterday I was in trouble for videoing someone sticking scissors into an electrical outlet. <laughs> the fact that we are here is a testament towards all of our wills and shows the strength and determination in each and every one of you. For this, tip my hat for the privilege to be called one of you, one of the Dalton High School class of 2021. No one said it was going to be easy. Let's be honest. It wasn't. We've seen some true horrors of the real world in our journey to this long-awaited destination. Seen the coronavirus, political differences, the biggest offender, I've seen Cardi B. <laughs> the truth is, we're not like past classes. Something about the class of 2021 truly makes us stand out from the rest. We were the first class to lose what we thought would be a once perfect senior year. We lost the ability to look at classmates' faces due to them wearing face coverings. We lost the ability to eat indoors at certain restaurants. Worst of all, we lost Taylor Swift concerts. <laughs> Yet through our prestigious educations gained online through Zoom, we have prevailed. We have made it to the light at the end of the tunnel. We are David who defeated Goliath. And we have made history. I ask all of you now, please take on the rest of your life with the same determination and strength you have so shown so far. If you want to go out and change the world, do it. If you want to start a business, and raise a family, do it. And if you want to be more famous and popular, that Ryan Gosling ever was, then by God, do it. I've seen the strength and the perseverance that everyone is capable of. And all that I ask now is that we live up to our name as the class that defeated the odds so heavily weighed against us. Live free and do good. Thank you. As you can see, a number of our graduates are wearing cords and stoles that represent a wide array of high school achievements. Some cords are given for academic accomplishments. Others are for participation in various clubs and organizations. We are proud to acknowledge the seniors who receive cords by sharing with our guests a complete list of cords and stoles and what they represent in your programs. These cords were presented to students during different awards and recognition ceremonies held prior to graduation. Now I have some students that I would like to recognize. We would first like to recognize our first ever group of graduating seniors in the REACH Scholars Program. 
These students are nominated during their seventh grade year. The mission of the REACH program is to increase the academic persistence and achievement of Georgia's most academically promising middle and high school students. Scholars who successfully complete the REACH program and graduate from high school are awarded a $10,000 scholarship that can be used at any HOPE eligible institution. Our class of 2021 REACH scholars are, and please stand when I call your name, Ariana Nicole Johnson, Aaliyah Medina, Santos Moreno Jr., and Milda Solis. Congratulations. may be seated. Star Student is based on the highest SAT score in the school as well as having an A grade point average. This year our Star Student was Abigail Liu. <clears throat> Abigail chose as her star teacher Mrs. Jennifer Baylog. Ms. Baylog, will you please stand and be recognized? Please join me in congratulating Abigail and Ms. Baylog. <clears throat> Our honor graduates are wearing gold tassels. Please stand if you have a gold tassel. These are our honor graduates and have maintained a 90 or above in all classes or a GPA of 3.5 or higher. Congratulations. You may be seated. Any student in the class of 2021 who has been awarded a scholarship, please stand. These scholarships represent academics, athletics, and community service. As a senior class, these students have amassed over $1.3 million in scholarship money. Congratulations to our students who have received scholarships. You may be seated. Graduates wearing green honor cords, please stand. These are our AP scholars. AP scholars are students who have scored a three or better on three or more advanced placement exams. Also included are AP scholars with honor, and those are grant, that, is, that honor is granted to a student who has an average score of at least a 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scores three or, high, three or higher on four or more of these exams. AP Scholars with Distinction, this is granted to students who receive an average score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores a 3 or higher on 5 or more of these exams. Please give a round of applause for our AP Scholars. You may be seated. We have 69 graduating seniors who have accumulated 1,602 college credit hours through dual enrollment courses with Dalton State, Georgia Northwestern, and Middle Georgia State University while in high school. We would like to recognize seven of these students who earned an associate's degree through Dalton State dual enrollment. When I call your name, please stand. Kareem Amro El Sadi, Noah Alexander Gallman, Noor Nasir Issa, Jamshed Daniel Kakabad, Lennon Reed Mahan, John Truitt Nemons, and Varun Aludo Naro. These are our students who have received an associate's degree. Congratulations. We also would like to recognize one of our students who earned two certificates through Georgia Northwestern Technical College, one in diesel maintenance uh, technology and then as a diesel engine technician. Um, he also earned a diploma in diesel technology. Jose Antonio Cruz, please stand. 
Congratulations. IB Diploma candidates, please stand. These students wearing a white academic stole and IB medal represent the two years that they have spent in our IB program. These students have completed all the requirements to be considered for the International Baccalaureate Diploma. Congratulations. You may be seated. Would the following students please stand? Karen Jacobo, Sarah Nicole Lynch, Varun Aludo Nara, Abigail Jean Nysis, Abigail Faith O'Farrell, Adriana Hope Parker, Deval Anil Patel, Siobhan Makush Patel, Wendy Montserrat Paleo, Kobe Robert Stokes. Congratulations to our top 10 of the class of 2021. Also, Karen Jacobo, Abigail Nysis, Hope Parker, and Siobhan Patel were, uh, uh, were top 10 all four years in high school, so congratulations. You may be seated. We have a lot to celebrate in athletics this year. The following seniors won a GHSA individual or team state championship this year. Hunter Nolan, please stand. Hunter Thomas Nolan was, won an individual state championship and this was his third state title in wrestling. Congratulations, Hunter. Let's talk about swimming. Henry Jones Bethel, Henry, please stand won a total of 15 state championships while at Dalton High. This year, Henry set two state records in the 200-yard individual medley and 100-yard breaststroke. He also won state championships this year as a member of the 200 freestyle relay and 400-yard freestyle relay team. Congratulations, Henry. Daniel Melgarejo, please stand. Daniel also won a state title this year in swimming as a member of the 200 freestyle relay and the 400 yard freestyle relay team. Congratulations, Daniel. Thank you. Boys soccer. The 2021 seniors it, uh, this year won their, st their second state championship while attending Dalton High School, also finishing ranked number one in the nation. Members of the boys' soccer team, please stand. Congratulations on a job well done. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to present the top two academic honors for the class of 2021, our salutatorian and valedictorian. The salutatorian, who is the student with the second highest grade point average in the class, is Wendy Maserat Paleo. Congratulations, Wendy, come on up. Now, it is with great pleasure that I present the student with the highest grade point average in the class of 2021. That student is Shavam Mukesh Patel.
Class of 2021, on behalf of the Dalton Public Schools Board of Education, congratulations. Today we celebrate you upon your graduation from high school, which is a notable and important accomplishment. And knowing what makes today memorable will not be my words. I will aim both to be short and simple in my advice to you. Today is memorable because of your accomplishment, but what makes today significant is that it marks a new beginning as a new chapter in your life emerges. This new season is full of both potential and promise. And so in my short and simple advice is offered with the hope and with the prayer that it will help each of you reach your potential, enjoy the promise of a great future, and become the best version of yourself. I find this advice in the words of the ancient Jewish prophet Zechariah. The year is 520 BC, as he was encouraging a massive rebuilding project in the city of Jerusalem when he wrote these words, do not despise the small things, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. You see, the rebuilding of their capital city had long been a dream, a goal, a hope, and a prayer of this exiled people. Yet Zechariah told them to focus on the small things. In other words, the problem back then, as it often is today, is not in the size of the dreams or the hopes in the human heart, but rather in the temptation to overlook the small things, the details, the fundamentals, the basics, the routine matters that everything else in life is built upon. Today, class of 2021, the work begins of building your future and becoming this best version of yourself. And it begins with the small things. And these are the things that we must not despise, overlook, neglect, or ignore. So I share with you today three examples in the hope that this will help us see the importance of the small things and in the hope that we and you will commit to doing them. First, we go to the year 1912 and revisit one of the worst maritime tragedies in, the his in our history, the sinking of the Titanic that cost 1,522 people their lives when the ship struck an iceberg. However, the question we ask is, was the Titanic's catastrophic fate sealed days before she even set sail? An investigation into the tragedy would reveal that second officer David Blair had been replaced right before the Titanic's voyage. And in the hurry, he forgot to hand over a small, simple key to his replacement. It was the key to the binocular locker, the binoculars that the lookouts would have used as they searched the horizon for other ships and obstacles like icebergs. Without these binoculars, the lookouts were forced to rely only upon their natural eyesight. Consequently, they saw the fateful iceberg only when it was too late to take evasive action. A crew member who survived the tragedy told a U.S. Senator that if they had had those binoculars, they would have seen the iceberg soon enough to get out of the way. You see, the key that we are tempted to overlook and declare as unimportant and insignificant could be the difference between disaster and destiny. And so we hear the words of the ancient prophet, do not despise the small things. Like the visionaries, the architects, the engineers, passengers, and crew of the Titanic, you too have bold dreams and great potential. But will you be committed enough to that potential and to those dreams to believe that your plans can be sunk for lack of a key? Your ship today is about to set sail from high school. So will you be humble enough, teachable enough, wise enough to ask what are the small things, the fundamentals, the routine matters, the keys that if neglected could spell big trouble and sink even the highest of hopes and the grandest of dreams. Our second story comes from our own time. Today, Steph Curry is regarded as one of, if not the greatest shooter in the history of the NBA. He has won two Most Valuable Player Awards and led his team to three world titles. However, before he was drafted, the scouts were not convinced Curry could even make it in the NBA. Here is a litany of his documented shortcomings by those scouts. He has an average first step, a skinny frame with poor explosiveness, far below the league standard in athleticism, not a natural point guard that a team can rely upon. Now what did these prophets of potential miss about Curry? 
They missed the small things. What they could not see about Steph Curry was that he was relentless in practice. An observer watching him noted that before practice even started, while other players were still dressing and checking their social media accounts, Curry had already shot between 100 and 150 baskets. In fact, to this very day, he routinely does on his own drills of 100 to build confidence and create muscle memory. There it is again. Do not despise the small things, the habitual things, the things done consistently, 100 times over, that make a big difference over time. So what do you need to do 100 times that will never get put on social media, will only be witnessed by a few, but that done again and again and again will provide momentum and confidence for you to seize your future and to realize your potential. What are these small things? For Steph Curry, it's to start practice before practice starts and do drills of 100. For Admiral William McRaven, the architect of the raid on the Osama bin Laden compound, it was to wake up every morning and make his bed. For Joy, the fictional character from the energy bus, it was to choose positivity over negativity. For Jesus of Nazareth, it was to get up early to spend time with his heavenly father. For a famous fish named Dory, it was just to keep swimming. So for you, class of 2021, what will be the small things that you must not despise? Now for sure, you will be tempted to despise the small things. Doing them will get old. Doing them may at times not even seem to pay off. They may not get you noticed or applauded but still we must not despise them, but rather commit to doing them. We must realize that good intentions are not good enough and that the pain of present tense discipline is better than the pain of future tense regret. We must not believe that success is achieved overnight or that there are instant fixes or microwavable results. And so in our final story, let us consider the Chinese bamboo tree. This tree is one of the fastest growing trees on our planet and can grow upwards of 80 feet in as little as six weeks time. Like many plants though, it too requires constant nurturing and daily watering. But here's the catch. In the first and second year of watering this, this seed, you will not see any visible signs of activity or growth. On the third and fourth year of watering every day, you still won't see any sign of activity or growth. Now this is where most people would give up. They might dig up the soil and destroy the roots. They might get bored and frustrated with the daily discipline of watering and stop and therefore killing the plant and its growth potential. But this is where the prophet's words must be heard. Do not despise the small things for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. Because if the caregivers of the bamboo tree keep going and water the soil for one more year, it is on the fifth year that it will begin to grow and grow and grow upwards of 80 feet in six weeks time. You see, the growers of the bamboo tree have faith that the best is yet to come and that if they keep watering and keep nurturing the seed, the tree will break through. Class of 2021, you must have the same kind of faith in your bamboo tree, your potential, your purpose, your passion, your path forward. And it is a path of not despising, but of rather doing the small things. In the words of the poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, the heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, toiled ever upward through the night. Class of 2021, today is a great day and a big milestone for you and for your families. But I believe that the best is yet to come. But only if you do not overlook the seemingly insignificant key, only if you are willing to do certain things 100 times over, and only if you keep watering the seed of your potential. It may take months and even years of not despising, but rather doing the small things, but eventually the roots will take hold and your tree will grow in remarkable ways. So like the Lord in 520 BC, today in 2021, we rejoice to see the work begin in you, for we believe the best is yet to come for you. And so may God bless you and the future that he has for you, class of 2021. Thank you.
Dr. Scott and members of the board. Each student here today has completed all requirements for graduation and is in good standing with our school. I recommend to you that each of these students in the class of 2021 be recognized as a graduate of Dalton High School with all rights and privileges with that honor. Thank you, Principal Hungerpeller, Chairman Matt Evans, Dalton Public Schools Board of Education. It is with great pleasure that I present to you the Dalton High School Class of 2021. By the authority and power vested in me as superintendent of Dalton Public Schools, I do now confer upon these candidates who have met all graduation requirements placed upon them by the state of Georgia and by Dalton Public Schools Board of Education. They are now eligible to come forward and receive their diplomas, the class of 2021. Asia Juliana Harper, Andrea Celeste Magaña, Henry Jones Bethel, William Bruce Davies, Deborah Veloso Columbia. Shivam Mukesh Patel. Ryan Ibanez. <coughs> Michaela Gail Kelly. <coughs> Daniela Piña. Malachi Joseph Taylor. Amaralis Trujillo. Karen Jacobo, Sarah Nicole Lynch, Varun Aludo Narra, Abigail Jean Nysis, Abigail Faith O'Farrell, Adriana Hope Parker, Deval Anil Patel, Wendy Montserrat Pelayo Perez, Kobe Robert Stokes, Priscilla Elandi Nolasco, Julian Rodriguez, Milda Solis. Simon Youngman McKeon, <clears throat> Madeline Wasim Abu Hadba, <laughs> Sophia Acosta, 
Leslie Acuna. Andrew Adame. Parker Adams. Brian Eduardo Aleman. Anthony Almazan. Franklin Almonte. Libna Sarai Amaro. Sean Asad Amedi. Verónica Arias Vázquez. Carlos Armendares. Litsi Isabel Arredondo. Alondra Arreguín Pardo. Andrea Paola Arriola. Luis Ángel Arroyo. Victoria Elizabeth Ashlock. Elizabeth Avalos. Daniela Avila. Joana Beatriz Avila. Aaron Aswara. Emma Olivia Rose Bagby. Tyrell Malik Baker. Catherine Teran Balino. Berenice Barajas. Daniel Barajas. Leslie Barajas. Cassandra Denise Barrera. Jennifer Diane Bautista Reynoso. Daniel Brian Bautista Reynoso. Jose Luis Becerra Rodriguez. Morgan Ann Bellflower. Gracie Ann Bell. Jose de Jesus Beltran. Tayton Deshawn Benton. Brody Kyler Betts. David Bibian. Grayson Tyler Boyd. William Tyler Bradley. Reagan Eleanor Brady. Cesar Bravo Campos. Cuauhtémoc Tamoc Brito. Emily Elizabeth Brunson. Landon Stafford Bryant. Lily Madison Burnett. Abby Elizabeth Burt. Jacob Ryan Byerts. Emily Angel Cabezas Delgado. Edwin Jason Cabrera Campos. Sean Douglas Cacall. Christian Isaac Caceres Barahona. Natalia Calderon. Jennifer Yamilet Calderon Hernandez. Eber M. Calzada. Jacqueline Yesenia Camacho. Rafael Camacho. Camden Riley Campbell. 
Melanie Canchola. Juana Paola Canchola Silva. Iván Enrique Cap Capistrán. Nicole Carrillo. Emma Joyce Carroll. José Guadalupe Castillo. Luis Ángel Castillo. Jorge Armando Castillo Carrasco. Abigail Castro. Iván Ceja. Iván Cerda Márquez. María Guadalupe Chaires. Jonathan Chavarría. Adelene Chávez. Jeremy Patrick Clark. Liam Riley Clark. José Antonio Collazo. Edgar José Cortés. Pamela Lisset Cortés. Brayden Michael Crawford. José Antonio Cruz. María Consuelo Cruz. Anthony Cruz de Labra. Heidi Rocío Cuevas. Lorelai Arcadia Dallas. Kalija Trayvon Dawson. Nevea Kobe Dawson. Ethan Hunter Day. Alexis De La Cruz. Demiria Kivana Dean. Berenice De Anda. Jesús Alejandro del Bosque López. Jason Vladimir Delgado. Sebastián Yacet Delgado Rodríguez. Jasmine Díaz. Brianna Karina Domínguez. Giselle Guadalupe Domínguez. Emiliano Eguía Mendoza. Karim Amro El Sadi. Savannah Delane Elkins. Aiden McLean Ellis. Reese James Epperson. Joshua Yair Espino Plaza. Chris Espinosa. Brittany Celeste Esquivel. Sandra Jasmine Estrella. Carlos Manuel Figueroa. Valentina Elizabeth Flamini. Alexis Estelle Flores. Andrés Freire. Ashley Lisette Freire. Daniel Moreno Freire. Edwin Freire. Karen Arlene Freire. Leonardo Freire. 
Gilberto Fraire Mendoza. Lorena Francisco. Margarita Francisco. Melinda Melissa Francisco. Jonathan Matthew Fulkerson. Marimar Loreno. Marimar Lorena Gabriel. Braden Clay Gallman. Noah Alexander Gallman. Andy Galvez. Teresa Sarai Gámez Barrera. David García. Gabriel García. Luis Ángel García. Marcos García. Stephanie Elena García. Tamia Alice Garner. Juan Ramón Garza. Nicholas Trevor Aiden Gay. Carly Elizabeth Gazaway. Mason Hope Goldberg. Aldo Isaac Gomez. Edwin Gomez. Juan Christian Gonzalez. Cindy Leanne Gonzalez. David Gonzalez. Jonathan Gonzalez. Raul Gonzalez. Vanessa Gonzalez Gonzalez. Isabella Abrams Graff. Anthony Coy Gray. Dakota Paul Griggs. Abisai Guzman Galindo. Yanira Guzman. Mary Ellen Page Hagberg. Michael Blake Hall. Sarah Jane Haliak. Graham Fitzgerald Hansen. Autumn Elise Harless. Jasmine Lane Harrison. Alondra Shirley Ann Hart. Richard Macaulay Hasselberg. Alejandro Hernandez. Annette Hernandez. Anthony Jose Hernandez. Caleb Hernandez. Christopher Angel Hernandez. Josie Hernandez. Jennifer Hernandez. Jennifer Lynn Hernandez. Joel Hernandez. Liliana Lisbeth Hernandez. Lisette Hernandez. Nalani Suri Hernandez. 
Rubén Hernández. Yasmín Marisol Hernández Bail. Guadalupe Hernández Solís. Tamarian Nathaniel House. Maurice Howard. Matthew Anthony Eisen. Noor Nasser Isa. Silvia Isaguirre. Brian Ulises Jacobo. Lexi Michaela Jacob. Edith James. Máximo Jerónimo Ramírez. Henderson Osvaldo Jiménez. Leslie Giron. Ariana Nicole Johnson. Connor Casey Johnson. Alexis Bianca Jones. Garrett Sherwood Jones. <coughs> Mincy McCall Jones. Yamshed Daniel Kikabad. Madeline Jean King. Andrew Chadwick Kinzer. Corey Jean Kinzelo. Ellen Brooks Kirk. Jake David Knapp. Ava Francis Jade Knowles. Joshua David Kriegel. Elba Maria Lainez. Faith Mackenzie Lake. Germán Octavio Landaverde. César Pérez Lara. Jordi Jair Lara. Caroline Michelle Lara Sanchez. Stephanie Lara Sanchez. Maya Gwendolyn Lee. Leanna Rose Little. Annabelle Paige Looper. Agustin Lopez. Ana Cristina Lopez. Guadalupe Lopez. Jacqueline Lopez. Jennifer Saraí Lopez Rodríguez. Josué Lopez. Josué Eduardo Lopez. Juan Manuel Lopez. Ricardo Lopez. Wendolyn Lopez. Betsabet Lopez Rodríguez. Saraí Loredo. Amy Shena Lozada. Javier Alejandro Lugo González. Aislin Yare Lulo. Fabiola Luna. Giselle Luna. Allie McKenzie Lute. 
Elijah James Lyles. Genesis Machado. Kevin Aiden Maddox. Amy Madrigal. Lennon Reed Mahan. Lillian Grace Maynard. Gabriel Maldonado. Perlamar Maldonado Ledesma. Lindsay Kate Manahan. Paige Marie Manahan. Vanessa Katrina Manas. Giselle Maqueda. Alex Mar. Natalie Giselle Marcia. Jacqueline Guadalupe Marquez. Jose Angel Marquez Covarrubias. Alejandro Martinez. Arlette Martinez. Jacqueline Haley Martinez. Josue Martinez. Gabriel Teo McAtee. Fisher Blake McElrath. <coughs> Alia Medina. Anthony Saul Medina. <clears throat> Daniel Felipe Melgarejo. Anthony Gabriel Mendez. Natalie Mendes, Néstor Miguel Mendes, Edgar Mendiola, Andy Armando Menéndez. Jocelyn Michelle Montalvo. Irvin Gustavo Morales. Jennifer Maricela Morales. Ener Moreno. Fátima Moreno. Lea Moreno. Leslie Estefania Moreno. Santos Moreno. Leslie Janet Moreno Márquez. César Anthony Muro.
Zachary Caleb Myers. Edwin Najera. Tyson Brady Neal. Hadley Juliana Nelson. Kayla Elise Newton. Kelsey Marie Newton. Kylie Elizabeth Wynn. John Truitt Nimmons. Hunter Thomas Noland. Joseph Nunez. Lisbeth Ochoa. Amalia Rocio Olivo. Diana Olvera Escobedo. Andrea Juliet Orellanes Ramos. Eric Ornelas. Giselle Ortiz. Kimberly Desiree Ortiz. Nadia Ortiz. Lluvia Jacqueline Ortiz Rodriguez. Rebecca Oventrop. Selena Pablo Bautista. Jimena Paez. Ronnie Paez. Vinicio Jonathan Paez Lucas. Anthony Palacios. Clarissa Paniagua. Nadelin Parrales Landeros. Juana Celia Miguel Pascual. Akash Falguni Patel. Devanchi Alpesh Patel. J. R. Patel. Jill Patel. Pratham Patel. Raj Patel. Leila Alia Patino. Savannah Naomi Patino. Jenny Marie Pedro Antonio. Ana Virginia Pereira Tobar. Jerry Perez. María Selena Perez. Marisela Perez. Quetzali Raquel Pérez. Leslie Pérez Ríos. Ensley Maeve Filan. Eleni Yvette Pimentel Pérez. Aaron Pineda. Elijah Urioles Pineda. Julian Pineda.
Michael Sebastián Pineda Cibrián. Jacqueline Ponce. Mónica Azalia Puac Ramírez. <coughs> Selena Rayanne Quick. <coughs> Filemon Anthony Quintero. Mauricio Quintero. Natalie Alexis Quintero. Valeria Quintero. Alexis Ramírez. Irma Nicole Ramírez. Jesús Manuel Ramírez. Neira Ramírez. Curi Fabián Ramírez Hernández. Kenley. Annabelle Ramsey. Abigail Rangel. Esmeralda Rangel. Alex J. Rawlings. Julia Savannah Reese. Jonathan Reveles. Dory Elaine Reynolds. Mariana Reese Reynolds. Jorge Giovanni Rico. Yaderit Rico. Kimberly Alexandra Rincón. Marcos Antonio Ríos Márquez. Christian Adair Rivas. Eddie Rivera. Natalie Brenda Rivera. Brandon DeMont Roberts. Armando Lael Rodriguez. Cristina Rodriguez. Damian Rodriguez. Eric, Romi Eric Rodriguez. Jocelyn Noemi Rodriguez. Angie Stephanie Rodriguez Rivera. Katie Ashlyn Rowland. Jesús Manuel Romero. Melanie Romero. Gregory Romo. Isaí Rosas. Sammy Rocío. Monique Montserrat Ruedas. 
Francisco Kevin Ruiz. Marina Jolene Salices. Aaron Saldaña. Eduardo Samuel Sánchez. Stephanie Vianney Sánchez. Aldo Iván Sánchez Camarillo. Brian Iván Sánchez Pérez. Enrique Alejandro Sandoval. Josué Sandoval Rodríguez. Worthington Williams Sellers. Brianni Paola Serrano. Matthew James Shaheen. Mallory Grace Shaw. Ariba Arif Sheikh. Usman Nadim Sheikh. Maria Fernanda Sierra. Dominique Javion Simpson. Elvis Otoniel Solis. Victor Otoniel Soria. Justin Sosa. Dave Alberto Soto. Bethany Rose Sutherland. Rai Ishian Marcus Stidman. Hayden Adrian Sumner. Erica Lynn Talent. Jocelyn Tamai. Christopher Rigo Tavera. Diana Celeste Tellez Ramos. Cade Hobbs Timms. Tijanique Dyson Thurman. Samuel Clark Tidwell. Adolfo Torres. Anaí Torres. Oscar Torres. Saraí Torres. Aileen Guadalupe Torres. Tessa Lynn Townsend. Jesus Omar Trejo. Rhett Johnson Tripp. Julia Sage Tucker.
Mike Angel Ulloa. Jennifer Angélica Uritzar. Caleb Valdés. Eder Valencia. Fernanda Vázquez. Samantha Joanna Vaughn. Paloma Vázquez. Héctor Misael Vega. Jaslyn Ventura. Erika Vidaña. Fuller Thomas Vineyard. Sierra Nicole Walton. Maya Leanne Watson. Whitley Shea Wells. Kaysen Isabel Welch. Demacia Janae Williams. Michaela Nicole Williams. Olani Wilson. Adrian Whitley Wingfield. Emma Catherine Woods. William Parrish Wright. Joseph Wesley Yarbrough. Jose Alfredo Jesus Zamora. Christian Cesar Zaragoza. <coughs> Fernanda Zavala. Elmer Celaya. Classmates, please rise. Congratulations, class of 2021. You may, you may now, now turn, turn your tassel. tassel.